Oh. <laughs> Ew, it's so gutsy. So, Ew, why you they're cold. cold. Welcome back everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We are carving pumpkins. Halloween is just a few short days away and Claire and Carmen and I think Owen are gonna carve a pumpkin. Unfortunately, Austin is not feeling super great tonight, so he's hanging out in the basement getting some rest. But these three, where's Owen? We're missing a child. He's coming, I just texted him. All right, so Owen's gonna come up, hang out with the girls. We're gonna get these pumpkins carved. They've been sitting on our porch ever since we bought them at Home Depot a few weeks ago. That's so. true. They've held up pretty well. We have. They're a little cold. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> sitting out outside on the cold porch. Oh, so. the guts are gonna be cold. Oh. So, Claire, tell everyone what you're planning to do with your pumpkin. This is gonna so, throw up. The pumpkin's gonna throw up? <laughs> yep. Throw up its own guts? Yep. <laughs> your mom might throw up digging out the pumpkin guts. I I'm, I'm not, not digging out that. the pumpkin guts. Because I do not like to carve pumpkins. You just got your nails done. They'll be perfect for scraping out. Grosses me out. The pumpkin stuff. Carmen, have you decided on a template yet? Just looking through all of our books that we've collected over the years. They're quite the collection. Yes, we did. Find anything great? Well, I found one and then I ripped it on accident. Then I wanted to use it. This one has some really cool ones. Should I do this one? Yeah, that was cool. Dad would love to help you carve that. Yow? Yeah. Yow? Yeah. Like Owl it is. All right, Mr. Owl. All right, so the first step is to cut the top. You want to make sure and cut the top on an angle. Oh, if you cut it straight up and down, your top will just fall inside and it just won't work out. Like, how do you repair it once that's happened, right? So, on an angle. All right, Karin, is it coming? Yeah. Cut off the backside a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> Ew, it's so gutsy. So, Ew, they're cold. cold. No, don't do it on this because that just twists it. I don't like this part. Well, crap. <laughs> Ew! No! Why did I do that? You know what I mean? It's so gutty and cold and... So gutty? Yeah. <laughs> it's gutty. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure Owen's gonna make it back up. So should we just grab this one? Yeah, he's being a party pooper too. Dude, I almost literally... Guys, you ready? You almost threw up? You'd be right. <laughs> Carmen has roped Clay into helping her get all the seeds and strings out. She just informed us that she is allergic to pumpkin. Makes her arm super itchy. Every <laughs> year this happens, It right? actually happens to me, too. Does it really? Yes. Yeah. It irritates my skin. Same. What? Yeah, it does. No way. I have a special arm, I guess, that helps me <laughs> tackle these pumpkins without the itch. You getting I'm a rash on your arm, too, Claire? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it irritates my skin. Got quite a bit of seeds in there. We roast them. Do you like wash them in like a strainer or what do you do? I don't know. I've never done seeds. Before. You're ugly. Roasted. But I can't. So gross. I need a good way to get the stringy <laughs> stuff out. It's like quicker than a fish. <laughs> it's true. No, like seriously, the knife won't even work on it. Then I just cut this thingy, which is bad. You're supposed to like rub it around on the inside of there, and it's supposed to take off all the strings. Well, so I mean, we could try it. How's it coming, Clipper? I'm ready to carve. Oh wow, killing it. Found oh something I think gosh. is gonna help us. Clearly is like Tim the Toolman Taylor. So someone's gonna have to hold the pumpkin so it doesn't <laughs> Looks like noodles. <laughs> we'll have to cut it off of there. Okay, well you gotta get the rest. The problem is we kind of made the sidewall a little thin. Does it still fit? Yeah. Is that Claire's lid? Yeah, that's Claire's lid. That's my lid. <laughs> oh, there it fits. Still good. But if we go anymore, we're gonna have real problems. Just keep digging, you got it. Did it go through the side? It's coming out the bottom. <laughs> Mine is all done and I'm gonna start carving now. Okay, I'm excited to see you're throwing up pumpkin. <laughs> all right, we got the want. pumpkins all cleaned out. Trying to get Carmen's thing taped on the front of her pumpkin. Mm. Having a little bit of a struggle. Tape's not holding. Tape never holds to the pumpkins. We're gonna use toothpicks and pin it. Genius. Clever, how's it coming? Got your eyes cut out. Yep. It's a way to carve a pumpkin. Just super simple and easy. <laughs> Done. One giant mouth, two little <laughs> eyes. 
Now we're gonna have little holes in my pumpkin. That's right, you won't really be able to see them. Lark. You got a lark to cut? <laughs> All right, we got the mouth out. Looks like he's ready to throw up there. What do you he think? He totally does. But <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin is not feeling well. Throw That's some a, guts in there. Let's a see. Great mouth up. for a sick pumpkin. <laughs> Claire's pumpkin is complete. We're gonna take it outside, set it on a piece of cardboard, so when she dumps all the throw up on it or coming out of its mouth, it will not get all over the porch and make a gigantic mess. We've got the cardboard outside, waiting for Mr. Pumpkin, and she has candles that are gonna go in there, so we'll light those up. Yep, it'll bright up the eyes and throw up too. All right. It's chilly outside. We're gonna put. Mr. Phil. Mr. Phil. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay, on my cardboard. Let's go get some candles, lighter, and guts, and top. Here's okay, we got the bowl full of guts. Here, put your candles in there first. Wait, no, because I have to kind of put it in there. Okay, I'll let you do your thing. I go like this. <laughs> That's so gross. I think those guts are going to last until Halloween. The rot's even better. <laughs> All right, throwing up pumpkin. Looks so good. There's my pumpkin. Looks amazing. How's it going in here? It's coming. This this owl's a difficult one. <laughs> it's a level three difficulty. Yes, it is. All right, can you get that piece out? There you go. All right, Carmen, can you trace? because we're probably gonna have to just remove this thing. So what we wanna do is trace out the eyes. Everything. Yeah, and then we'll just get the paper out of the way. We probably should've traced to begin with. <laughs> do I color them in? Yep. Yeah, it just takes more time though. <laughs> Carmi finished her pumpkin. You did amazing. You got your candle and the lighter. We'll carry all that outside and we'll light them up. It looks awesome, Carm. You did great. Here comes the rain, which means the snow will be here soon. Wait, no, 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 don't do it that way. Let me help you first. All right, it's all lit up. Come look at it. Come look at it. That looks cool. What do you think? I like that. You like it? It looks awesome. And there's Claire's just being sick on the front porch. Clay's just getting started on his. He chose literally the hardest one in the entire book. <laughs> Carmen just said, good luck, Dad. What is it, Carmen? Did you ever see this in Mexico at all? This looks like a day of the dead skeleton. Her name is Katrina. Katrina? I know that. Really? From a book that I read. Wow. I know that her name is Katrina. Really? Yes. Did not know that. I didn't either. I just know that it's like Day of the Dead type skeleton from Mexico, right? Is That's like their, like, what do we call it? Memorial Day for us? Is that what Halloween is for the... So basically what you do is you just, you, make, you get pictures and like flowers and you put them on a table and it's called an ofrenda and then the spirits of your ancestors come back. Yeah, so kind of like our but, Memorial Day, but just but a little you more. Put it down. I think they do it a little bit longer than than us. See how much you still have left in there? Yeah, that's true. I'm just, I just now got a lot of cutting to do. <laughs> All right, I think our third and final pumpkin is complete. It, it took a while. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It uh, was more time than I've invested in any pumpkin <laughs> ever. I know some guys go crazy. This one took me about an hour, hour and a half, of which Long time. is not too bad. But uh, still, longer than I wanted to, you know, set her in car for pumpkin. There we go. Fabulous. Let's Pretty take good. it outside and light it up with the girls' pumpkins. Let's do it. We'll have our third and final pumpkin. Hopefully these last until Halloween. They probably will. They kind of, you know, cage start in a little bit. Start to sink in and to... stuff. By Halloween night, they might be like just... By Halloween night, they need dentures. <laughs> Ooh, it's raining out here. Yeah, it was raining earlier. It's really coming down now. I'm supposed to switch over to snow. Oh, I like it. Nice. Looks good. Guys, you might hear the girls laughing in the background. <laughs> there is a very intense game of Mario going on in our bedroom right now. Yes, uh, they asked if they could get one quick game in before they have to get their jammies on and go to bed. And Claire's back there cackling like a witch. She has the best laugh. <laughs> Honestly, it's my favorite. She cackles. You really get her laughing and it's hilarious. She's got the best laugh. That is funny. <laughs> Guys, we want to know what is the longest amount of time you've ever spent carving a pumpkin? Uh, like I said before, I spent an hour, hour and a half, which seems like a long time, but I know that people have spent like crazy amounts of time on those things. So yeah. let us know. Is it a couple hours, four hours, all day? <laughs> uh, so we, we want to hear about it. Uh, guys, we appreciate you watching. We love you. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.